This Mid Journey Prompt Toolkit by Mid Journey Frontier is a really awesome resource of styles and different words you can use to further explore what you can create using Mid Journey's AI art or AI image generator. So I have the toolkit here and it has a few files with it. This is just an image that's uh, on the product page. But otherwise, we have this nice in depth tutorial here that you can open up and follow if you get stuck. Otherwise, there's an Excel file here you can open and use, and that is the main toolkit. Now, I've opened this up. I've actually just installed uh, Office Suite, which has uh, got a nice free, to free tier, which allows me to check this out. Uh, sort of prefer it at the moment, but uh, essentially, this is what you get on the home page. There are some tabs down the bottom here you can explore, but you really don't need to worry about where the tabs are. Everything is linked up here in the actual uh, sheet itself. So essentially, let's say I want to explore a few different art styles. There's different things like artists, photographers, or if I go into designers here, I've got designer names I can try to get very distinct styles. I can go back to the homepage. Photographers, there are photographer names in here I can use to get very distinct photography styles. And you get a visual representation of what these, you can sort of expect from these uh, names. But there's also things like artistic styles. So you've got 450 styles here. So fashion portrait, 70s fashion portrait keep scrolling through some of these are really cool um, some of these styles here yakuza style tattoo caricature some of these i've actually used myself but there's also just a whole bunch in here you can explore if you're trying to find something that looks a little bit more unique i go back to the top return to home page there's things like color themes architects sculptures there's even anime styles if you're into that uh into anime and that kind of thing materialization 89 techniques now some of these don't forget uh, while i'm showing you this here there's also often off to the side a little bit more information this is actually some of these have a lot more lot more information but uh, you can see how they've got these different sort of materialization techniques a so bioluminescence design so colorful woodcut which is another cool look fused glass there's so much stuff in here i haven't actually seen before myself it looks really cool but if I go back to the homepage, you can see how we've got these references, a bunch of references down to camera angles so you can frame your imagery the way you want to, like extreme close up, or if I scroll right down, aerial photography, bird's eye view, 360 photography view of the world. So uh, first person view. These are all ways you can help to frame up your, your photos or images when using mid journey. Scene and mood, photo photographic niches. So you can see we've got portrait, fashion, Tilt shift photography, which is very cool. It gives it that sort of look like things are small. Nulling photography. So there's so much here you can use as a reference. Character generation techniques. There's so much here. I, like it. I really highly recommend just checking it out for yourself. Uh, another one is power user keywords. So there's camera models here. They are keywords, so various texture surfaces, camera models, award winning. It's got like an example at the end. So ambrotype, insanely detailed HD. 4k 8k these are all simple words that you can just simply add to your prompt on their own that will actually have a bit of an impact on what you get so you can also see these are nice like a photo montage you get a nice effect with that there and you can just go through and try these out but we're going to get straight into the prompt generator itself to show you how you can further take that but before we do that let's pick an artistic style so let's go for, let's go for artistic styles let's scroll down a bit i really like prism effect so let's work with prism effect on one of our images. Now I can simply type this into mid journey myself, but we're going to use the actual mid journey generator. So let's head on back to the top. Let's also go through to designers here. Michael Joseph Winkleman Beeple has a pretty cool style. So let's work on that. We'll go with Beeple, but let's see what else they, let's just go straight to the prompt generator with those two main things and see what we can get. So down here, the MJ Master Prompt Formula Generator. We'll click on that. And there's actually a few prompt generators here. There's a formula for realistic photography, for character creation, illustration, artist styles or conceptual surreal artworks, or a seamless pattern generator. So considering what we looked at just then, let's go to illustrative and vector graphic artwork. And you click on these images, they don't go through, but click the title. And this is where you sort of slowly fill out the fields. The green fields are where you add your own information. And these areas are the drop down. So first of all, I'm going to go over to art style and pick our prism effect. Prism effect. I'll go to artistic style by author, drop down. And there's a lot of names here to go through and they are sort of categorized. 
because we were looking at designers, I need to go down a bit until I get to designers. So graphic designers, Michael Joseph Winkleman, Beeple. So we've added in our prism effect and Beeple. And the way it works then is we go back and simply fill out what we're after. So type of artwork, old masterful oil painting, illustrative depiction of, let's try that. Subject description, a cat wizard, something weird like that. Additional details, say glowing eyes. Scene description, I'm just gonna say lightning storm. And I'm gonna fill out some of these areas to see. I can leave certain things blank, which I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna leave some of this stuff blank in the artistic style of, because I wanna describe this here. Power user keyword. Let's go super resolution, see what comes up. And now we can get to the end here. We have aspect ratio, style parameter, and chaos. These are actually parameters and not so much keywords. So but we're just gonna leave those parameters for now. And if, this is pretty basic, but you can play with this in more detail if you want to. All I wanna do is highlight this row by clicking on the edge here. I'm gonna right click, copy. Now for some reason, apparently on Macs, this works perfectly. Just copy, paste it in Discord and you're good to go. But in Windows, apparently it can have some issues. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna to go to run. So I just hit the window key and R for my computer to get run. I type in notepad. I'm gonna paste that in there. Then I'll highlight it, copy it again from notepad here. Switch over to Discord. Here's an image I created earlier using the prompt generator, which looks pretty funky, but I'm gonna to go to imagine, paste in and hit enter. And now check out what we've got here. These are all pretty cool. I especially like the bottom right. I'll quickly upscale it. And you got a pretty cool nifty effect, but it doesn't just stop there. I can use these keywords. I can now take this and because I've learned of a cool style, I can actually just copy the prism effect and Beeple. So maybe I type in imagine cat wizard prism effect in the style of Beeple. And I'm gonna add a lightning storm. So even if you don't want to use the prompt generator, using it as a way of referencing certain styles is pretty powerful. So let's see what we get with that one. And again, we get some more really, really stunning looking art. Now, another one I want to try is the optical illusion style. So I'm actually going to take that, pop it in and see what kind of results we can get again. So I created this optical illusion effect of a man walking and you can see just how cool and groovy some of that image has turned out. Because we couldn't get our prism effect to work before, I thought I'd try that here with the same thing, with the same subject, since cat wizards seem to be kind of overpowering some of these prompts. Now try that same man walking in the style of Beeple, and we get some other sort of very trippy looking artwork, which I think looks pretty cool. Let's try something else, try some base artwork categories. NFTs, that's a, got a pretty cool effect. So why don't we, there's here, there is actually a prompt example that we can use. So we don't have to rely entirely on the prompt generator. So if I take this here and copy it, I paste it into Discord, but this time I'm gonna say, this time I've pasted it into Discord, I'm gonna try Cat as a wizard instead of an owl DJ, and let's just see what we get out of that. And now something completely different again. So you see how this is an awesome resource for finding art styles you'd like to try. So I highly recommend checking out, there is a link in the description below if you wanna have a look. So check it out, have a play, and let me know how you go. I hope you enjoyed the video for today. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon, and have a great day.